Hi, my name is Junior Mendez. I'm part of Team 14 at FIU for Senior Design 1. The proposal we are looking to make is for our stock market simulator. We'll be going over project description, marketability, problem statement and objectives, intended uses and users, background, intellectual property, ethical considerations, and concept development. And to wrap this all up in our conclusion. Our project is a simulation of the stock market to help give us the best predictions of the market based on multiple other agents and their own actions. This platform will provide the best assumptions from trends in the market and view the most efficient course of action to optimize success for oneself. Such intelligence will allow any user to use our product with an exceptional chance to use it in the real, real world for profitable results. Our marketability analysis is to discuss what other projects we needed to improve on within our subject, the stock market. The stock market is on an ever-growing trend itself in which consumers are jumping in uh, for the gain of profit. Our main feature is to ensure success by intelligence of computer analysis. A guaranteed of success for our users is a guaranteed, a guaranteed of success for ourselves. The two projects we considered were Think or Swim and David AI. Think or Swim was launched by TD Ameritrade it is a already established brokerage firm that offers a software that allows us to get statistical analysis of stock and above all, buy and sell stocks. David AI, launched in 2017 by Innovate, a company based in California, was a project that focused on AI to help predict stock market trends in real time, also growing algorithms as it predicted these trends. With the rise of consumers wishing to get involved in the stock market to make extra money and benefit their future, it is necessary to garner as much information about the market before investing in. However, many consumers jump in with no knowledge other than what they hear from investors online. This platform seeks to eliminate that middleman of relying on influencers and looks to benefit the user first and foremost by exemplifying what occurs in the stock market. The design pro proposed suggests creating a system capable of simulating a stock market and can make accurate predictions about the market flow. So our objectives are similar that must have a high prediction accuracy, of course. Predictions must be quick and efficient, and our platform must be easy to use and have a user-friendly interface. Hello, my name is Jorge Valdez Santiago, and I would like to discuss our project intended users and uses. As the title suggests, our project intended user is its target audience, and our project intended use is its purpose. Our project intended users are novice traders, people who are interested in observing how their investments perform in the stock market, and also for people who are interested in learning how the stock market works. Our project intended use is for to provide a safe environment for people to simulate and understand stock market trends, and also observe how their investments will perform according to these trends. To conclude, our project intended users are novice traders and people interested in understanding how the stock market works, and its intended use is to simulate the stock market and its trends. Another topic I would like to talk about is our project's background, which is a list of products or ideas that inspire our design. Two projects that inspire our design are NetLogo and Thicker Screen Paper Money. However, a third product I would like to mention is Wall Street Survivor Stock Market Simulator. To start, NetLogo is a multi-agent modeling environment, which was created by CCL a research organization at Northwestern University. Moreover, these simulators use agents, which are entities that can be programmed by a user to perform certain tasks. Additionally, this program has been used to simulate a wide variety of phenomena, such as stock market behavior or the spread of a pathogen. On this picture, here's a picture of uh, the user interface of NetLogo. Now, comparing that level to our project, our project will be simpler and also will not require users to program their agents for their simulators, and thus it will have a smaller learning curve. The next project I would like to discuss is Think of Screen Paper Money, which was created by Online Investors Advantage, which, this, this, moreover, this program has multiple functionalities, such as tracking stocks, also simulating different scenarios in the stock market, as, and also this program will allow traders to buy or sell stocks. And on this slide is a picture of the Thinkorswim interface. Comparing this project to our project, 
a project will have a simpler functionality and it will have a more, a more user-friendly inter interface. The third project I would like to mention is Wall Street Survivor, Stock Market Simulator, which has a similar functionality to the Thinkorswim paper money. To conclude, our projects that the place that inspired our design are NetLogo, Thinkorswim, and Wall Street Survivor Stock Market Simulator. Hello everybody, my name is Jose Maceira and I will explain how will our group avoid improvement, what parts are similar to our project, and in the end I will demonstrate the results of the ethical dilemma of the project and its solutions. In this section, I will present the past design that may resemble our project and are protected by patents. I'm starting with the financial market replicator and simulator. This financial simulator receives historical data on different financial markets from various sources. It allows the users to input historical data in order to evaluate how the market will behave under different circumstances. Researchers can use this technology to analyze earlier data from various financial marketplaces. What makes our product different is that our simulator is a software application that only makes predictions about changes in the stock market. It doesn't involve methods to help users analyze any financial market or gain trades and skills. A trading simulation game that imitates the action of various market makers and traders in the security market is the topic of the second patent. This game allows the user to input a starting price or, or some affecting market prices in order to guess the final price. The main similarity between our project and the game is that both create a market simulation, but our project is, follows a more complex and profound approach to programming design. Also, our plan is constructed to help users maximize profit with trading in real life situations and are not for gaming purposes. To finish the section, we found that our ethical dilemma deals with the scams planned to our simulator. As you can see, we came up with different solutions for this problem. Option 1. Inform users of the legality of planned scams to make money. Option 2. Ignore any possibility of a scheme being planned to the knowledge of the platform. And Option 3. Inform and interfere with any planned scheme if evidence of such is occurring. With this option, we hope to provide a solution to any possible scam attempt in the future of the project. This concludes my section. Next, my colleague will follow with some final concepts and the conclusion of the project. Hello class, my name is Ronald Garcia, and I'll be explaining the concept development section of this presentation. The main goal of this section is to analyze different options that may solve the same problem. In our case, the stock market simulator can be created using different approaches. First, we'll show two alternatives that were discarded due to several reasons, and finally, we'll show our final concept. Here we can see our concept fan. It has two programming languages, two simulation modelings, and in the case of agent-based simulation, we will have two types of environment platforms. This is the, fir the first alternative that wasn't taken into consideration. It has an agent-based simulation modeling, NetLog as an environment platform, and Python as a programming language. The main issue of using this alternative is that NetLogo is not especially dedicated for stock market purposes and therefore this could affect the accuracy of our project. This is the second alternative that wasn't taken into consideration. It has a continuous simulation modeling and Java as a programming language. The main issue of using this alternative is that continuous modeling is not well suited to represent real life situations because it doesn't take into consideration different external factors or people behaviors or the interaction between those people. Finally, we, ha we have our final concept. It has an agent-based simulation modeling, a bytes as the environment platform, and Python as the programming language. The main advantages of using this, this final concept is that a bytes is especially dedicated for stock market purposes, and agent-based simulation modeling is more accurate when simulating real-life situations. This decision is also supported by an analysis made by the team where you can see that final concept ended with the highest scores, with the highest score based on, the, on our objectives and constraints. In conclusion, our team will develop an agent-based stock market simulator 
that will be capable of predicting different behaviors on the stock market. This will serve as a learning tool to help increase the profits while trading in real life. During this presentation, we show the problem that we seek to solve by exposing different objectives like marketability or safety. We also show our intended users like novice traders. We also show past inventions that could be similar to our design and how we intend to maintain originality within our design. We also show some ethical considerations like the legality of our project. And finally, we show three different approaches that we could have followed to develop this design and why our alternative was the best to solve this problem by using an agent-based simulation modeling and Abytes as the platform. I hope you like this video and thank you for watching.